Hi everyone, this is Mahali from Cyber Panel, and in today's video, we will be talking about how you can fix a broken formalin. So, one of the most prevalent concerns on a WordPress site is basically a faulty formalin, which is also known as a 404 uh, error. Now, this can be caused by a variety of difficulties, and in this video, we will be learning about how you can fix. Uh, those difficulties now the reason for a broken permalink are so many but some of them are that a new installation of a plugin might have some created some disturbance with your uh, program files or a corrupted permalink might act, uh, occur after restoring backup files or moving when you're moving your wordpress from one uh, from a different server or a different domain and or maybe when you uh, upgrade a uh, plugin that might also have problems that might also create problems for your permalinks or any alteration to your htaccess files might be a cause for the 404 error so in this video we will be talking about three methods with which you can very easily fix your permalinks number one would be to reset the permalink settings number two would be to uh, replace the code in htaccess file with the default htaccess file code and number third is to sort out the plugins that might be creating problems for you so without further ado let's just jump straight to the video all right guys so there are three ways with which you can fix your damaged or your broken permalink number one is by resetting your permalink settings number two is to replace your htaccess files with the default code and number third is to sort all plugins that might be compromising your permalinks so number one is to reset the permalink settings so it's super simple just come into your wordpress dashboard from here, click on settings from the left hand side menu and click on permalinks. From here, right now I have post name. So you can just simply click on any one of the other common settings. Once you do that, scroll down and click on save changes. So once you have saved changes, so now we can reset it. Now we can reset it back to our original which was the post name so it will only show post name over here of course you have multiple options you can also have a custom structure of your permalink but mostly it's better to have a post name so that your pages and posts and articles name would be able to be much more readable in the permalink once you do that click on save changes and you have successfully reset your permalink settings even after that, if 404 error still occurs, you can go to the next one, which is to replace the code within the htaccess file with default code. So again, we need to go uh, reach the file manager. So again, let's go into our dashboard. From here, click on plugins. Of course, you can also use uh, FileZilla or Bitwise, but I'm gonna use a plugin to get my uh, to reach my htss file go into plugins and click on add new now from add new you need to search for file manager now this one is a great plugin you can very easily do all of your changes using this plugin Simply install it. Once it is installed, you can activate this. And once you activate it, you'll see your file manager tab over here. So let's click on that. From here, go into public HTML and within public, public HTML, you'll see your htaccess files. Simply right click on it and rename it, uh, rename it first. So, I'm just going to add error in front of it. Once I do that, my file has been changed. Now we need our default code in our, in our htaccess file. So first of all, we need to create a new file. So you'll see this little tab on top. Click on plain text. From here, you can name it ht 
axis. Now this is going to be your HTML access file. Right click on it, go into your code editor. Now over here you can enter this default code. I will also mention this code in the description of this video. Once you have replaced the code, click on save and close. So now you have a successful default HTXS file with no error whatsoever. Again, if the error still persists, you can you would know that there might be some plugins that are messing with your pages or with, with your permalinks. So go into plugins. Now this is the third method. And you can, for example, if I'm thinking that this was the latest uh, plugin that I activated and after that I'm getting this 404 error, simply deactivate it. If whether you have installed and activated multiple uh, plugins, just deactivate all of them and then check again with your page. With your permalinks, if the, okay, so after this, your 404 error should go away after all these three methods, but still, if the error still persists, you need to create a new WordPress site and transfer your data over there. So for that, you need to save your WP content file and copy it over there so that none of your information or your data is lost in the process. Uh, so that's it for today. We have learned in this video that there, are, that there are these three methods with which you can easily fix your permalink, your broken permalinks. And if you still have any questions, just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.